has joined us. Our guy Sokong is taking us through the park. I saw a video of this person was like, I've never seen a line to Disneyland so short before. Disneyland? Yeah, in Hong Kong Disneyland. Because usually all Disneyland is like hella crazy long. And she was like, I've never seen a line so short. Literally we're so, we're like practically there. about this castle is that it's not just one princess whereas the one in I think in LA Anaheim that one is Sleeping Beauty and I forget where maybe it's Tokyo one that one is Cinderella's but this one is unique because they did a combination of like a lot of different princesses added together which is why all like the towers are like slightly different Got off of the what is this ride called? See that, see that. Iron Man experience. It's exactly Star Star Tours. They just rebranded the ride. Um, even the graphic at the very beginning is exactly how Star Tours Star Tours was. And then what they did was just like overlay the graphics so it fits the Marvel theme. Um, so like most of the storylines like pretty pretty similar. Brian keeps saying that we shouldn't speak English because all the workers immediately speak English to us. They know we're foreign. Even saying we don't, like, <laughs> maybe their default is English. Oh, no, Look at my default skin. How was that? <laughs> I feel like we're dressed very American though. <laughs> Everything about it just screams foreigner. finished riding Ant-Man and the Wasp. Did you enjoy that one? Yeah, it was fun. That was fun. Very similar to... A little to change of pace than the uh, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. I think the um, the laser is more accurate for sure. That was fun. Hi, planes. I won Baymax. all the way over to the Disneyland to the Hotel. Like Took us about time. 10 minutes, really quick walk. So we're going to the Crystal Lotus where I have a, to make a little reservation here. I wanna get some dim sum, some Disney themed dim sum.
got off Big Grizzly Mountain. It was really, really fun because it like you sh we did not know anything about the ride, and uh, at a certain point it like takes you back, and it was like it's a pretty fast and like fun roller coaster. So that was a lot of really fun. I just finished Mystic Manor, came out and I bought some pins. And the ride was cool. I actually thought it was more of like the Haunted Mansion with the continuous buggy ride. But actually it's, um, it's a trackless ride. So more similar to Star Trek, no wait, Star, Star, Wars. Star Wars, The Rise, Rise of Resistance. Resistance. Pretty cool, it was fun. And now we're heading into uh, Toy Story World. Covered, white chocolate covered churro. I don't like it. <laughs> Good? It's too sweet. Yeah. I don't like sprinkles. Mid. I got a waffle pack. I also got a water bottle one. Oh, it's a cute Mickey like. Waffle and I got a chicken leg. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Here they give you gloves for everything. So nice, so sanitized. We just start bringing gloves everywhere. Everywhere? <laughs> Turkey leg could never. <laughs> Bought this from China. Drinking a Hong Kong. We just got back to our hotel from Disneyland. Final verdict of Disneyland, Hong Kong. It is okay. <laughs> it is small. In the morning, um, so the park opens at tennis. Not very crowded in the morning. When you go in the morning, I feel like in America. People like to rope drop, so it gets super crowded or like super early already, and you have to line up really, uh, really early. Same like Disneyland, Hong Kong Disneyland. No one really comes in the morning, so we were able to do a lot of like rides in Tomorrowland really quickly, and then we did our uh, dim sum at the Crystal Lotus restaurant um, at the Disneyland, Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. Food was also okay. It was mostly like cute food. It's just like cute. You see the Disney characters. Brian thinks that 
is a worth it as a waste of time because we had to like get there and like because this fine dining took a while so it kind of like took away two hours of our park time but when we get back to the park there still wasn't really there's not that much to do we like accomplished every single major ride that we wanted to do world of frozen and they were letting people in but they were just like barricade barricaded it so you it looked like you're not allowed to like go in but if you were to go up to the worker they'll like oh like usher you in like they'll let you go in and then we thought that a ride we couldn't ride any because like, it's officially it's not open yet so we thought that maybe the rides aren't open you just like see the land but no even the rides were open so we like we will do the ride so that was cool it's nice to say that we were able to also go to um, another Disneyland so we only have two more left to go which is the Shanghai one and Paris. and Paris cool beans all right good ales